Leaders from nations in the Caribbean Oil Alliance or Petro Caribe are in Venezuela for a summit seen as crucial in these times of rising global oil prices. Venezuela established the alliance three years ago, offering Caribbean countries preferential terms to pay for their oil imports. The deal includes long term loads and the option to pay at least some of the costs with goods and services. Well, the Dominican Republic joined Petro Caribe in September 2005. It's a country that relies entirely on oil imports and oil fuels, everything from vehicles to the island's uncertain electricity supply. Lucia Newman reports from the Dominican Republic on how it needs all the help it can get from an alliance like Petro Caribe. When Christopher Columbus landed in what is today the Dominican Republic and established the first Spanish settlement of the Americas, he said he discovered paradise. But more than 500 years later, Columbus's paradise is missing something vital. Our country, unfortunately, does not have oil. And as a result, the enormous hike in oil prices is really punishing us. In this working class neighborhood, people like Clarissa Perez feel the impact daily. We have blackouts all the time. The electricity comes off for a couple of hours and then it's gone. Everything in the refrigerator spoils. The electricity just came back, but not for long. And as if on cue, the lights went out again. Electricity here, as on most Caribbean islands, is generated almost exclusively with imported oil. Petrol now costs more than six dollars a gallon, the most expensive in the Americas. Private car owners aren't the only ones suffering. The bus fare has gone up beyond measure, complains this man. The food you see here, fruit, vegetables, rice, is produced right here in the Dominican Republic. That's one thing that this country doesn't have to import. But because of the hike in the price of petrol, transporting all this to market now costs much more. And that translates into more expensive food, which, as everyone knows, hurts those who can afford it the least the most. More than 40% of people here live in poverty, and money earmarked for social programs is now being gobbled up by the oil bill. And the situation would be much worse were it not for Petro Caribe or Petro Caribbean, a program devised by Venezuela to provide oil to poor Caribbean and Central American nations with low interest, low term financing. President Hugo Chavez has been more than generous to us and the rest of the Caribbean. We would ask that the remaining oil producers and exporters follow his example. President Fernandez told Al Jazeera Venezuela may also invest in this country's outdated refinery, so fuel can be refined here. The kind of oil solidarity that only Chavez is providing, with until now no obvious political strings attached. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santo Domingo.